Nice. <laughs> Why are you all singing? Duh. After years of traveling the solar system, we have covered every single planet. We're going home. Yeah. Oh man, I can't wait to sleep in my own bed. Or eat a home cooked meal. Or take a nice hot shower. Or wash my pants. What? Or take a nice hot shower. Oh, you already said that. Yeah. Well, I have bad news. Did someone wash my pants? No. No. Even though you covered all the planets in our solar system, there are still some dwarf planets we have to cover. Wait, you mean no sleepies in my beddies? No hot showies? No home-cooked meal? No pants washing? No hot cha- Oh, you already said that. I'm sorry, I'm the worst. Yeah. Relax. There are only five known dwarf planets in our solar system. This should be quick. Well, I don't even know what a dwarf planet is. Well, how about I show you? The proper definition of a dwarf planet is a celestial body resembling a small planet but lacking certain technical criteria that is required for it to be classified as such. Huh? But in English, this is what they really are. Dwarf planets are a lot like regular planets, but obviously smaller. Unlike weirdly shaped asteroids, dwarf planets have enough mass to be round. Whoa! Just like regular planets, they travel around the sun, but the big difference comes in their path. A regular planet has a smooth, clear ride around the sun, but a dwarf planet is the opposite. These planets usually share their path of orbit with asteroids, debris, and even other dwarf planets, making for a really rough ride. And speaking of a rough ride, we're approaching something ahead! I've had? Here, drink milk of raccoon. What? I don't know if I'm seeing things or not, but I think that's one of the dwarf planets. It is. That Ceres. She was the first dwarf planet ever discovered and the largest object in the asteroid belt. Wow. What is wrong with Toaster? It have earache? Here, put Penny and I and swim in Red Sea. No. No, our Toaster is fine. But what happened to my spaceship? Ship was broken. I make you new one from parts in your closet. You like? No. All this stuff was in our closet? Then whose pink Furby is this? What if they were collectible? I don't know what I'm more interested in. These dwarf planets or your weird obsession with Furbies. So, Ceres, can you tell us more about you? Yes, my sweet lord. You drink crab juice and I tell me baby story. I is named after the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. What? The word cereal, which comes from harvest, actually comes from the same name. Wow. As your alarm clock spokes, what? I is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and the Jupiter, and the only dwarf planet located in the inner part of solar system. I was the first member of the asteroid belt to be discovered when Giuseppe Piazzi spotted me in 1801. Hey, check out this rock concert. See, you get, you get it, cause there's a, there's a bunch of rocks. I was called asteroid for many years, but I is so much bigger and different from me neighbors that scientists make me a dwarf planet in 2006. Also, I am very small. If the earth were the size of nickel, I would be size of poppy seed. 
But perhaps most interesting fact is that scientists believe there may be water on me, which means there could be life here. Whoa. Your head feel cure? You drink my milk of raccoon and juice of crab? What? No crab juice. But I do feel better now. Are we ready to go home? <laughs> you didn't even meet me yet. You already want to leave. <gasps> Ugh, headache is back. Let me guess. You're Pluto. I wish I wasn't, but I am. Ah, quit being so mopey. Yeah, it's Mopefest 2020. Mopenstein versus the Wolfman. Star Wars Episode 4. A new mope. You guys are so mean, and I'm too sad to ask you to stop. But why? What's with all the crying and tears and all that? Well, I was originally a planet for over 75 years, but I got switched to being a dwarf planet in 2006. After another dwarf planet, Eris, was discovered, scientists were forced to come up with a definition for a planet. And I didn't fit that definition. So now I'm lonely and have no friends. Well, you have Ceres. She's a dwarf planet too. Seriously? Would you want to hang out with her? She keeps trying to get me to drink crab juice and raccoon milk. What? Yeah, solid point. Can't argue with that. Yeah. It's weird. When I was a kid, Pluto was counted as a planet, but now it isn't. What's the deal with that? Well, I'll tell you but I may cry in the middle of it. I was discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh. Guess what's in this little, little black box I got right here. What? Originally, I was named Planet X, which is a lot cooler than Pluto when you think about it. Yeah. But eventually, my name was changed. Pluto is the only world named by an 11-year-old girl. Huh? In 1930, Venetia Burney suggested that I should be named for the Roman god of the underworld, and eventually, her suggestion was chosen. I live in the Kuiper Belt, an area full of icy bodies and other dwarf planets way out past Neptune. In fact, I'm the brightest object in the Kuiper Belt. Because I am so far from the sun, I'm incredibly cold. Reaching an average temperature of negative 387 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, it takes me forever to go around the sun. About 248 years. I am very small. Only about half as wide as the United States. Whoa. Even though I am so small, I have five moons. My largest moon, Sharon, is so similar in size to me that we orbit each other like a double planet system. Hey, do you guys want to meet my moon, Sharon? Sure, why not? You guys like bees? What? Pluto? They're big bees, yellow bees, red bees with claws. What? Pluto? Wait, what's that noise? Got me a Chrysler, it's as big as a whale, so come along and spend your jukebox money! The weird bee dude with a derpy face was a lot better. Yeah! Wait a second, you're Haumea. We learned a little bit about you in my egg-shaped planet video. You did? I don't remember being interviewed or anything. Yeah, budget was a bit tight. We filmed in a kitchen. What? Not our best work. I'll tell you what is the best, though. These chairs. What? Tommy Bahama. They did not cut corners. They did not. No. Enough with the chairs. The faster we talk to this dude, the faster we get home. Hey, home fry. It's Haumea. Whatever. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Of course. First off, I've got me a Chrysler. It's as big as a whale. Besides that. Uh oh. No one ever really asked me before, but hey, how about you just play the part from your egg video and keep this bad boy moving? Okay, let's do it. There's a dwarf planet called Haumea beyond the orbit of Neptune in an area called the Kuiper Belt. Ooh. This region of the solar system is believed to contain many comets, asteroids, and other small bodies made largely of ice. Haumea is one of the many objects in the belt. 
Haumea was named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility and is believed to be made of rock with a coating of ice. It's thought to have gotten its funky shape from a collision with other objects in the belt. And on top of all that, I have two moons, both named after the Hawaiian goddess Haumea's daughters. I also have rings, too. Not bad for an egg-shaped planet. Well, I'll tell you what's not bad. These chairs. What? Tommy Bahama. Comfortable, yet durable. It's got like six cup holders. Besides all those things, another interesting fact about me is that a day on Haumea is less than four hours. And a year on me is equal to 285 years on Earth. Feels like it's taking us that long to get through this video. So who's next? Oh, Maki Maki next, huh? Maki Maki what now? No, oh, my name, Maki Maki. Maki him a name. Ooh, got it, Tommy Bahama. What? Great guy, he makes these awesome chairs. No. No, I think Maki Maki's its actual name. Yes, me Maki Maki. Eh, this guy doesn't seem like the brightest of the bunch. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of useful information out of him. No, Maki Maki smart. Go ahead, ask Maki Maki a question. I don't know, what's your favorite thing in the universe? That's simple. Tommy Bahama chairs. They're comfortable, durable, portable, and make for a great beach accessory. Don't look at me, I didn't say anything. What? Located in the Kuiper Belt, along with Pluto, Haumea, and Eris, Maki Maki was discovered on March 31, 2005, and was named after the Rapa Nui God of Humanity and Fertility. Originally, it was named Easter Bunny, due to its discovery being so close to Easter. Last name, this planet, Pumpkin, this planet, Turkey and Mashed Potato, this planet, Christmas Tree, and this planet, Easter Bunny. What? Along with Eris, its discovery is what caused Pluto to lose its status as a planet. Maki Maki is only about 880 miles wide. That's less than a third the size of the United States. Even though Maki Maki is so small, it has one moon that was recently discovered. Nicknamed MK2, its moon is only about 100 miles wide. Well, four dwarf planets down. You know what that means. Yep. Big sale on Tommy Bahama beach chairs. The season may be over for some, but not for us, my friend. Not for us. When did I become the smart one in this group? Hey, it has a cup holder, too. Oh, man, I'm gonna hold so many cups. <gasps> if anyone can hear me, anyone, please get me away from him. Wait a second. Where'd he go? Who, me? No, not you. <laughs> Who, me? What? Not you, either. Who, me? No, I was looking for... Never mind. So you must be Eris. And you must be Tommy Bahama. What? I've heard a lot about your awesome beach chairs. They have cup holders, backpack straps, coolers... That's it. I've had it. I'd rather float in space than hear about beach chairs again. Yeah. No, wait. You have one dwarf planet left. Don't you want to hear about me? Fine. But if you say his name just once, I'm gonna throw myself into the sun. Oh no! No problem. I'm Eris. I was discovered in 2005, and when scientists found me, I was named Xena after a popular TV show in the early 2000s. Eventually, I was officially named Eris after the ancient Greek goddess of discord and strife. Huh? These are fancy words for disagreement, which kind of suits me since I was part of the reason why Pluto was changed from a planet to a dwarf planet. I'm about the same size as Pluto, and I have one moon, Dysonomia which is named after Eris's daughter, the demon goddess of lawlessness. The coolest thing about me is that I am the furthest dwarf planet from the sun. Whoa! On average, I'm about 6.3 billion miles away from it. Since I am so far, it takes me 557 Earth years to make one trip around the sun. Being so far from the sun, it must be cold by you. Too cold. No need to have anything like a cooler. Yep. Or a bathing suit. Nope. Or like a Tommy Bahama beach chair. That's it. I'm out. Seven days later. Andy, are you okay? Ugh. My 
must have had a bad dream. Hey kid, what's your name? Tommy Bahama. Help me. This video could not be made without the help from my patrons on Patreon, especially Mr. Nicholas, Huxley, Ophelia, Clem, Laid, Fairy, Scientist, Timmy C, Aiden, Fenway, Riley, Rinko, Kostya, and Yaro, Panda, Page, and Casey Bear, Ellie, Jack, and Bobby Griffin, Amador, Baggerly, Creative Devon and Zach T, Leif, Anderson, Miller, Sean, Fideli, Lily, Patrick, and Marina, Felix and Casper, Watson, Smith, Arthur Watson, Asher Jacobson, Aiden Swift, Wesley and Stella M, Ada S, Avery L, Lizzie, Dean and Trevor, Jordana and Aaron, Callum G, Jack and Easton Hess, Kara and Michael, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Kate and Sarah, Blazin, Richard, Dean, Bartholomew, Vivi and Jojo Roche, Maxwell M, Solomon and Chandler in Oregon, The Peterson Pack, Gavin and Ian Eshteg, Tobin and Mina, Carter, Levi and Fletcher, Ari, aka R Tank, Gavin Meidel, Britton and Cosette, Mrs. Esslinger's fourth grade class, Isley and Jude Siegel, Aiton Judah, Elijah Robert, Dora and Levi, Nora Close, Dean Skinwickus, Emma Priestley, Gwen, Iggy, Elowen, and Addy, Grant and Amelia, Grace and Kristoff, Nadia and Hannah, Kai Kim, Thomas and Lucas V, Simon, Natalie and Liam McNulty, Noah and Zachary Hasname, Johanna, Jeffrey and Asher Siebold, Jack and Grant Reed, James Berg, Pfeiffer III, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, George and Emmett Wolliger, Henry Pavelko, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Evan, Bristol, and John Beecher, Ethan Grainer, Dally and Scarlett Lewis, Luke and Lily Herlitz, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Jordan Montgomery, Aria and Kieran, Jack and Colt Skinner, Mason and Nora, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Kerry, Billy, and Mora, Max R, Rebecca Beanie, Leighton Pachokio, Lennon McCartney, Jones, Page, Avalon, and Cash, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Oscar and Jake Hat, Rory, Fred, Tio, Anne, Luke and Joey, Riker Y, Charles and Olivia, The Rivard Boys, Nina and Santino, Matthew and James Mondiello, Evan Lee, GC, Micah the Marvelous, Porter, Isaac, and Wesley Pierce, Amelia Murray, Jameson and Nolan, Leah and Gavin Clark, Wesley C, Greg Matlock, Rory Primrose, Asher S, Charlie, Iris, Henry, and Pina, Kelly B, Harry, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Anera and Alice, Jake Hill, Rory Quinn, Marshall Evans, Connor and Emma B, Sophie, Becky, and Rob Jenkins, Quinn, Price, Robertson, Buddy Deese, Evan Gray, Amelia and Alan Mills, Wyatt Michelle, Megan Chu, Xander and Lucinda, Angelo and Patrick, and Zeno the Shark. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video, see behind the scenes clips, and more. Check the description box for a link. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. It's black and has a hashtag symbol before it. If you find it, you can get cool stuff from my Teespring store like this, or this, or this. As always, check the description box for a link. Want to get a custom video from Steve or Andy? Well, now you can through Cameo. Just visit cameo.com backslash andy.puppet or cameo.com backslash steve.puppet to get your own special message. And last, test your Dwarf Planet knowledge with my Dwarf Planet worksheet on my Teachers Pay Teachers site. I have a bunch of other quizzes and worksheets that go along with my other videos there too. As always, check the description box for a link.